liberal Bill Maher giving the Democrats another big dose of reality when it comes to the left's indoctrination of kids. We live in a prison yard in this country where it's just everything is tribal and like anything to do with schools or education is something really the Democrats have to answer for because they control it. I mean, if you look at the Democratic convention, it's like three quarters of them are teachers. My sister's a teacher. I'm a big defender of teachers. But what's going on in the schools is outrageous and somebody needs to answer for it. And just look at some of the headlines in the last week. Educators demonizing white voices. Students cheated out of scholarship opportunities, all for equity. And teachers' unions manipulate contracts to push leftist ideas. All right, um, Greg, since you know so much about the schools and teachers, I yes. thought I'd go to you first. Yes. You know, one thing that the kids are not taught in school is respect for authority. And kudos to, to Bill Maher for his taking this on. Yeah, I don't know if it's about the respect for authority thing. I think, you know, uh, I think the point he's making is that certain political parties own certain areas of our culture. And, and right now you're looking at one that is falling apart. And why is that? And it's because they're staking out the most irrational positions on stuff like trans surgery. You don't have to take that position, right? The most reasonable position for, for uh, like, you know, gender affirmation surgery is you shouldn't perform it or any irreversible operation on a healthy child who has no firmly developed brain structure yet. Other than that, do what you want. You want to wait till you're an adult. And I always say this, there's going to be a class action suit between two groups of people. It's not going to be adults who didn't get transitioned in ki when they were kids. It's adults who did. So I think that when you're in a situation in this culture where that is considered irrational, that you can actually, like, that our government actually believes that you're a transphobe if you want to get be between a child, mm -hmm. a healthy child, mm -hmm. and an activist with a scalpel, we got problems. Mm -hmm. That's what he's getting. He's getting at the fact that, like, for a progressive like him to exist and to survive and to thrive, there has to be standards. There has to be biology. There has to be math. Because if you take that all away, then there's no way to be able to tell if you're making any progress at all. So instead, you have a government that is actually saying, no, kids should have the right to have their genitals mutilated before they even have a firmly structured brain to understand it. That's crazy. You know, Dana, the six-year-old, I think it was last week, who brought a gun to school and then I think claimed that, she, the, 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 that they wanted to burn down, the, burn the teacher as well. I mean, you know, they're talking about in the schools, not just in the inner cities, but the kids can't even survive, let alone learn. Yeah, and in fact, there are many reports from teachers who were leaving the profession because when they came back from COVID, not all teachers wanted to be home, right? So they come back from COVID school and the behavior, behavioral problems were so bad. The number of people in the teaching profession who are leaving, it's sort of like on the police, it's almost at that same percentage wise. Yeah. And that's, that's not sustainable. And I think what Bill Maher is trying to do is warn everybody that if you want President DeSantis, you should allow all these schools to continue to do this and get between a parent and their child. If you read the New York Times big feature on this, they interviewed, I think, 50 different parents spanning a full political spectrum. Mm -hmm. And to a person, even the liberal ones were like, oh, absolutely not. You will tell me if my child expresses a desire right. to change their gender and they're eight years old, then, yeah, you're going to tell me about it. But I don't know what's going on. I mean, it's been a long time since I've been in school, but I cannot, I, I cannot imagine this. So parents are going through a lot, and they're looking to people like Governor DeSantis, uh, who is being very strong on this and not afraid to take it on. Jesse? We had a show on Friday where an undercover operation went into a school district or several in Ohio and caught teachers confessing wow. that they're teaching CRT. And lying to the media about it, lying to the parents about it, saying they use code words to get around it, saying they trick the parents, saying they're slow walking it, baby stepping. Next thing you know, CRT is everywhere. And you have to look out as a parent for code words if they have a wellness officer at the school. They don't use things like CRT if they say a class is about belonging. That's what you got to look out for. And a lot of these teachers, they're fighting a proxy war against the parents. They're poisoning the children to get back at the parents. Maybe the teachers have daddy issues. Maybe they're uncomfortable in their own skin, but they hate the country, they hate the patriarchy, and so they're just trying to destroy these children to make themselves feel better, and it's actually being a bully because they're going after the kids. 
What would you do, Jessica, if, you know, when Cleo goes to school? I mean, we know the Biden administration is all in on this trans indoctrination. I mean, would you be opposed to them teaching your daughter and, and giving her, you know, the ability to change without notifying you? Absolutely not. But first of all, the Biden administration is not in on trans indoctrination. No one, is, I would not want anyone giving my child puberty blockers without consulting me. I am not against the idea of having conversation with kids about gender fluidity, which is one of the main targets of these book bans that are coming around now. And that is what it looks like What's when you live books? in conversations about kids who That's identify it. as they. All right. Some of them, not all of them. But if you want to live in Ron DeSantis's Florida, and there are a lot of people who do want to, but the reason that it will not be such a cakewalk as many Republicans think, is they're doing things like this, like banning the teaching of AP African-American history. The Department of Education said, quote, it teaches students about activism, intersectionality, and encourages ending the war on black, trans, queer, and gender, and non-conforming and intersex people. I I'm sorry, what? You want to cancel? That's the only AP class in Florida that's getting canceled. If you are a teacher in Manatee County, Florida, you now are not allowed to choose the books in your own libraries. It has to go through a media literacy person or librarian for them to choose. There are teachers now who are having to cover up or remove all of the books that they have hand-selected for their classrooms because of this assault by the government of Florida. It's not, uh, it's, it's, it is an it's, assault. It's, 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 it's not a good class. Stop it. I looked confused. at the curriculum. It's garbage. It has nothing to do with history. AP African American history. African -American history. It's garbage. Defended. Have you seen the curriculum? He actually you said, read it. come back the next yeah. day joke. and give so me another it, shot. I, the stuff at the end there, you, you said, I, that's, I, not, that's total indoctrination. All the intersectionality, by the way, trans. That's the statement. You don't think that black trans people exist or black queer people exist? Or that's a straw man people? or a straw trans. It, Excuse me. Don't do that. This is serious. <laughs> no, I I'm actually being serious. Just because people do not want that stuff, it, because it's age inappropriate, does not make them no, transphobic. Because no, 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 no. you're going there. Okay, well, let's talk about a book ban now. It, it, uh, Out of Darkness, a young adult novel about two teens okay. that have a relationship. Yeah, it's now been 16 go. school districts are you coming for what? this book. Whatever. I don't is. know about the book. Yeah, yeah I will read you know it this why? Weekend. Because, good, let's, let's book club it. <laughs> Hi, everyone, I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.